What's going on, YouTube? Kyle can come at you with another episode of Ratchet and Clank. If you guys are enjoying the series, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to share your support. All right, so the last episode, we finished off the fitness course. Uh, we've actually been inducted into the Galactic Rangers formally. So let's meet Quark, who's waiting patiently by our ship for us. Since you're now one of us, I thought it was time to get you a new run. Whoa, a Class G Star Jumper? Is this for me? Technically, it's Galactic Ranger property, but if you survive, uh, complete this super secret yet completely on the level mission, she'll be yours to use however you like. What is this secret mission? I call it Operation Falling Star. Interesting. Congratulations, Cadet. You've been selected for Operation Falling Star. Galactic Ranger Intel tells us Chairman Breck has a state-of-the-art weapons lab in Nebula G-34. Your mission is to destroy his top-secret project without, and this is important, telling anyone. Ever. Seriously, this is our little secret. Sure, but I don't see why... Please save your questions until the end of the presentation. You'll need to access the oh. laboratory using a trespasser, your wits, and the kind of fortitude normally found in more seasoned rangers. Get in, destroy whatever he's working on, and get out. I'll monitor your position from here. Good luck. So do we already, do we get a trespasser for this? Or? Off, but I have an urgent appointment with my acupuncturist. Call me when you arrive at Nebula G34. I'm counting on you, Ratchet. You get so do we have the okay so the, yeah we come equipped with that helipack. pack yeah we just bought that or we acquired we don't have to buy it in this game okay so i don't have the what do you call it? let's open up some packs real quick actually you know i'm starting saving these till the end of each episode uh, i think that's when i'll do that um yeah i, I think that'll be a, a decent way to end off each episode as a matter of fact uh, but first, let's see what extras. I don't think we can get anything with one bolt. <laughs> Head mask. Uh, Quark bot, Snaggle Beast, T Rex. Quick Devon Ion. I don't know who that is. Dan Johnson. Yeah, Dan Johnson. He was one of the. Oh. Oh, that's the guy from the start of the game. Uh, Dan. He's actually someone who worked on the Russian Clank uh, series back uh, in Insomniac, obviously. And uh, he actually passed away, and I think. 2006 or so and it was always their thing to like you know insert him in the game somehow and um i don't remember how he passed away though uh, so I, I i can't really say anything about that but he's always in the game like use his skill point you know destroy the snow dam or something like that in each game that there is an important gadget we must retrieve in iridia okay so this is uh infiltrating this facility will require advanced equipment we should visit Rilgar to acquire it. Okay, let's uh, visit Iridia let's first. Then. Out I like how they just, like go back and forth the banter each way, like as you're selecting a planet. Not really banter, but you know, telling you what to do. Complete the game to unlock challenge mode. Definitely. Like it seems like there's like an angry Lombax or some sort of creature on the side of the ship, which is quite interesting actually. Really liking, I like the Galactic Rangers as a thing. Um, I like. Wait, is that Skid Marks up ahead? I like the way they've done the Galactic Rangers in this game, as opposed to how they did it in Up Your Arsenal. How you weren't like you don't really know any of them until that game. Like we we met Al in Ratchet and Clank One. We never met Helga before. Skrunk we just met in that game. Uh, Skid Marks we met in Ratchet and Clank One, but I just don't think we met Helga before Up Your Arsenal. So. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to turn my camera. Can I that turn the camera? Okay, there we go. Weapons. That's why I'm coming over here. I don't have much of Zircon. Alright, whatever. I'll buy it. Let's upgrade our weapons a little bit, shall we? Uh, okay, what do I want to upgrade? Take your time. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, actually, I'll just upgrade that. Level six, yeah. Isn't Raritanium awesome? Constructive Freaking Cluster, this casing mod synchronizes the wavelength of all nearby cores, allowing them to additionally core deploy. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. 
probably should upgrade the processor a little bit because I can get more retaining out of that. But, you know, that's fine. I'm going to get this as well, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, Mr. Zircon's a pretty cool weapon. I like him. I like him in his bandit. Mr. Zircon doesn't need nanotech to survive. He survives on fear. <laughs> I can't wait to see what kind of lines they brought back in this game. Or, they, uh, you know, what new ones they have. Anyway. Oh, man, am I happy you two dudes showed. I've been out here all night. I can't believe it. Skid McMarks. I have seen every one of your races. You pulled off a triple Nova spin at Mach 2 at last year's Kerwin Cup. It's always good to meet a fan, two, little Jesus. dude. I am Clank. This is Ratchet. Your uncle received your info bot and asked us to assist you. Oh, I was wondering if you got that. My agent and I have been running from those blog all night. Only we ended up getting separated in the chaos, and I took a gnarly fall getting out of the Skid McMark sports chat. Hey, think you dudes could clear out the sand shark so I can get to my ship? Give me my hoverboard if you do. Whoa, a real McMark's 4000? Consider it done. Wow, that's uh, how it looks actually kind of beat. Okay, I'm just gonna deploy Mr. Zircon right here. And uh, actually, I'm gonna use my Parasitor for this. Oh, this is a lot more in this version of the game. Okay, um, something to note is that they were building something in the original Watch and Clank as well, but we don't, I don't know what. The, that. Oh, that's the only thing that makes more sand sharks probably in this game. It just looks a lot more disgusting in HD. Like, that's the thing. Like, a lot of things that didn't look as, like, awkward, but, like, as disgusting. Oh, they changed Mr. Zircon's voice set. Hold on. Let me stop talking for a while. I want to hear what he's saying. Oh. Oh, Mr. Zircon just blew up, so... Okay, let's see. It seems like his voice has changed a little bit. Like, it sounds similar, but at the same time, it sounds different. Like, they're born a different voice actor with, like, this similar, like, voicing, uh, similar sounding voice, but it doesn't have that Mr. Zircon feel to me anymore, you know? Those of you that have played Ratchet like might know what I'm talking about. But those of you that haven't probably think I'm crazy right now. Or you might know what I'm talking about, like when they change, you know, a voice actor like Havoc through a series or... Okay. This is, looks kind of suspicious. Okay. Oh, Gold Bolt. Okay. Just like in the original. Okay, so 2 out of 28. Um, I don't know if I'll do a, a guide for all the gold bolts. Um, I can try to do something like that, but I don't know. Oh, that is deadly. Okay. I don't know all the locations, so I'm going to have to... Um, to look in. I'll probably do a guide on that, because like, there's really there's, like no reason for me not to. Like I can just look it up. So I can get you guys all the right information, even if this is the blind playthrough of the game. I just have to remember what episode to pick up gold bolts. I just have to uh, mark it down in my notes. Word, Skid. Yeah, I'd be down for some food, Skid. Oh. Wow, that got me a lot of experience. I think. I believe there are a few sand sharks left. Yeah, there are, but Oh, I have to wall jump. Up that wall. Oh, Mr. Mr. Zircon's gone. Okay. So let's head back. Yeah, I got you, Skid. No worries, pal. You're a nice guy. They changed his voice too, which... Well, his voice was obviously different in the first game, but um, in the... Um, it's not the same from Up Your Arsenal either, I don't think. 
Oh, okay, they have a little objective marker up there. That's pretty cool. What's... What are those? Oh, okay, those are th uh, objects I haven't completed yet. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, that's such a skid big march thing to say, little dudes. That was pretty okay. awesome. Thanks for your help. Here's your hoverboard. Whoa, and it's it looks a little worn. To Ratchet and Clank, the chillest dudes I've ever hung out with on a hostile alien planet. <gasps> cool. Will you be able to get home on your own? I'll be okay, though I don't think I'll be able to compete in the Blackwater City hoverboard competition. Kind of a bummer, dude. I'll do it for you, hey, like I did in uh, the original. I feel kind of bad leaving him out here. He doesn't do well with nature. You know what? This guy. Well, oh, dude, I hmm. hope this isn't a career-ending injury. <laughs> this guy kind of reminds me of. I want to say a hunter from like Enter the Dragonfly or somewhere. Or something like that. But I don't like. I can't pin. My, I can't like pinpoint the voice that I hear, but it sounds very familiar. Granted, that's because I like. I enjoy sound making like Spyro, Ratchet and Clank, stuff like that. So, um, probably can't. I don't think I can use this yet, right? Nah, not yet. Okay. So, uh, Skidmore Mark looks quite a bit different as well in HD. I wasn't expecting him to look so. Uh, I don't know. You are now trespassing in a restricted area. Please vacate the construction site. Oh, oops. No, I didn't take that back back. Okay. Oh, that's still not enough for a level up either. Alright. Um, I do wonder what they were building. Now, now I'm thinking about it, I don't think, I, I don't, I don't, I didn't know in the original Russian plane what they were building here. Um, cause this is supposed to be the Skid McMark's, um, the, 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 you know, the, the McMark site or whatever, but thinking about it, I never knew what that, what they were building in the original it version, um. Mr. Zerbon is here to kill. That's the last of them. That was okay. impressive. Oh. What I was saying before, like when they change a voice actor, like midway through, his, maybe not midway through a series, but like in Tenchi Muyo, where they change Ryoko's voice actor, and um, you know a few others from over two to over three, in the English dub, or like how they changed uh, Kagome's voice actor in Final Act, along with uh, yeah, they changed Shoshomaru's voice actor as well, but like it's not as noticeable for Shoshomaru. However, your refusal to leave has forced us to activate the Constructo bots. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Oh. My sensors are picking up a strange energy signature near the swing shot targets. I believe it may be a gadget from Drek Industries. All right, Hold on. let's have a. Uh, let's see, which way do I want to go? Okay, there's nothing back there. Look around. Yes, yeah, so I want to go this way first. But what's oh, over here? Okay, this is. Alright, Zircon, I... Your one-liners are still pretty good, I gotta say. That's an interesting thing to say, Skid. I kind of wish he wasn't talking so much, because I, I like I don't want to talk over them. Although that's why I wanted the subtitles to be on, so that 
like if something like this was happening, like uh, you could still see what they're saying. You might not be able to hear it as well though. But... Okay. It's nice to see this, these places still retain some of their um, some of their original. Designed by Dr. Nefarious, this ingenious device promised to move water from one place to the other. So the divine design by Dr. Nefarious? That's interesting. Probably won't be able to make it. Oh. Try as he might, Ratchet could not breathe underwater. Nope, I wasn't able to make it, just barely. But, um, I probably was not supposed to try that yet, to be honest. I was supposed to probably wait till I get the O2 mask, so that I would be able to make that no problem. But, you can get it without the O2 mask, as I just did. So, was that two gold bolts in this episode? I have to put down in my notes? Uh, I can remember that. I just have to write it down immediately after I, um... Uh, I do this episode. So this episode, last episode, I've got a total of three gold bolts. With just a push of a button, the duo could now fill an entire swimming pool. Originally designed to unclog Valkyrie toilets, Ratchet would find the hydro displacer invaluable in navigating the sewers of the galaxy. But we should Valkyrie is more agent. He may need our assistance. Okay, so where else can we go? Go through there. Get over there. Okay. So we got the gadget now. Intrusion detected in sector four. Dispatching constructobots. Wow, I might be able to complete just about one area per episode at this rate. At the rate I'm going with these episodes, depending on the cutscenes and stuff like that. Because I should be able to finish this episode, um, or finish this this map in this episode at least, or at least get up the skids agent. I don't know what he'll want us to do. Like I'm still basing this off of uh, what the previous, what the originals were like. So a lot, that's what a lot of my assumptions are. Or like a lot of the things I'm going to base. Um, the finest selection of hoverboards, grab bikes, and gyrocycles will not be in stock until next fall. The only thing waiting for you here is death. Oh. Hey, Yeah, Zircon's a pretty nice guy. How are these guys still popping out of the ground? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, I've taken most of you out already. I, I didn't think I was moving there, but okay. Hold this, Mr. Haru. <sighs> uh, a real Lombax user. You can't call him a Lombax. <clears throat> okay, so they're talking. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't know where he is. You know celebrities these days. They do whatever they want. We can look this out, can't we? Why can't I jump? Oh, okay, because I wasn't supposed to make that jump yet. That's why I wanted to jump there. Okay. Well. At least you can tell when he's dead using the car also. Okay. Is my bouncer? Take out the 
Oops. There's more of them. Okay. Hey, get them off my back. And I'll make you famous. That's impressive. Have either of you thought about a career in professional sports? Um I'm a Galactic Ranger. What is that? Galactic Ranger? Wait a minute. That's not what they wore in the previous game. No, no, no. Okay, I was looking at the Q Force, not the Galactic Rangers earlier this episode. Um, although I know some of you probably haven't actually watched a full episode before making a comment. Kenny, it's you, bro! That's the Q-Force! But, obviously, I just corrected myself, so your comment is now invalid. If you didn't, if you did do that. Thing of Q-Force, not the Galactic Rangers. Wait, are we going to Don't tell me, don't tell me. Socket and Clink. Ratchet and Right, right, beautiful. Sprocket and Plank. I like the sound of it. <laughs> I Sprocket and now, Plank. Listen, my client and I got separated in our somewhat hasty trek back to the ship. I'd go meet up with them, but this place is crawling with sand sharks. Someone's going to crash it and uh, spank. You can help me out? You have nothing to fear, sir. The sand sharks have been dealt with. Beautiful. Beautiful. You two have heart. I can sell that. We are always happy to assist. It's really interesting how how dynamically changed the story is in this game, though. You us out. So where are you off to now? A hospital, I guess. Got to get this leg checked out. A hospital? Skid, come on. You've been through worse. Uh, what are we gonna do about your sponsors? Um, I'm beginning to think you don't like care about me or whatever. <sighs> Fine. Uh, what about you, Wrenchy? Ratchet. <coughs> exactly. You want to be a hoverboard star? This info bot will give you all the details. Just tell him Don Wonderstar sent you. <laughs> oh, that's game a name in this game. Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition on Planet Rogar. Are you a young thrill seeker looking to show off your hoverboard skills? Then blast on over to Real Gar and experience the pulse pounding thrill of doing Mach 3 on a rocket powered piece of plastic. How exciting is the race? Just listen that to some of our previous champions. I never miss the Blackwater City Hoverboard Competition, uh, except for next year's. I probably won't make that one. I can't feel my toes. Is that normal? <laughs> We're offering cash prizes <laughs> and hollow cards to the winners. So head to Planet Bilgar and take a shot at the most extreme sporting event in the galaxy. And uh, try not to die. Oh. Okay, well. Wow, we just saved a celebrity. I want to check out that hoverboard competition. We should head back to the but yeah, like I was saying, um, regarding the how drastically the story's changed, um, in the first Ratchet and Clank, um, throughout the game, uh, you know, the majority of the game, Clank was like, yo, yo, Captain Cork, Captain Cork, you know, we, we gotta, you know, we gotta get him to help us. And now through this game, Ratchet is the one that, um, is all, you know, Captain Cork, you know, he's, he's the best, I wanna be like a galactic ranger, yada, yada, yada. So it's going to be quite interesting um, seeing how this is all going to unfold. That's not really much of a spoiler or anything at all either because we already know uh, for a fact that Captain Quark is uh, actually um, is actually going to end up in prison because of the start of the game. So that's not a spoiler by like, any stretch of the imagination at all. Uh, what is, where does this take me? Going to Agent's Camp. Oh uh, yeah, let's head on over there. And let's see what's. Oh, I don't have the, the the boots, so I can't really head up there yet. No. Okay. Uh, well, I don't think I can long jump over there either. Uh... Oh no! You just die instead of just slowly, instead of being able to, to try to save yourself by jumping out of it. Okay. Uh, well. Since I'm going to end the episode off momentarily, let's take a look at the card collection for today. The cards that I ended up picking up. I think, oh, oh Rusty Pete. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. Um, trading five duplicate cards. Let's trade duplicates. Ah, Novalis. 
Robots, hero set. Okay. Ooh, ratchet. Okay. Got five duplicates left. Get the fusion grenade from Buster. Pyrocitor. Zircon. Pyrodrome. That's a whole thing. Right. Nice. The amount of damage dealt by the Omni was increased by 100%. Oh! Okay. That's what they meant by completing a set. Ah. Okay, so how... Oh, it gives you stats on them too. Unlocks the Omega variant of the Magma Buster for purchasing challenge. But, ah, can I... Oh, okay. The Pyro class of purchasing challenge mode. Oh, okay. This is actually really, really cool. The way they allow you to do stuff like this. Although most of it seems to just be um, Omega variants in challenge mode. But, okay. I want to comp complete that next if I can. Try to complete the sets if you can. Yeah. That'll be pretty good. Anyway, um, that'll be all for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to share your support. I do enjoy reading all your comments. Be sure to share this video with your friends that enjoy Ratchet and Clank, as it really will help me out, along with leaving a like. And be sure to follow me on all my social media, which is being down below, along with uh, my Discord and stuff like that, so you know we can, we can chat, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.